Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World and today I'm going to give you a video on how to successfully use Oculus Link with a commentary keeping all of the game audio and pump it right into OBS. This is a question we get on the Oculus uh, Quest subreddit. I see it a lot on my videos. People ask me how to do it. I have put together some documentation and some diagrams, but people seem to really want a video. So we're going to give you a video. As you know, the biggest problem with the Oculus Rift uh, or with the Oculus Quest running as an Oculus Rift through um, Oculus Link is the fact that as soon as you start playing the game, the audio can't be recorded with OBS because for whatever reason, Oculus's audio driver won't be capturable by OBS. It's a glitch. Everybody knows about it and there's not too many ways around it other than what I'm going to show you and a couple of alternatives I'm also going to show you. So in order to do this, now this video is not going to teach you how to use Link. It's not going to really teach you how to use OBS. I'm assuming you've already got a working Link set up and you sort of know your way around OBS at least a little bit. So what I have here is I have my Quest. I'm plugged in. I've, all, I've set up all my um, Oculus Link stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the audio out of here and into there. So you really have two choices. Um, so while you're playing the game, I'm just going to put this guy on right here. Um, yeah, can't be found, whatever. So you need to get the audio from here back here. And you really only have two choices. A really long audio cable, which is cheap and easy, and you probably already have one, but it's yet another wire, but you already got one, so who cares? The other option is a pair of wireless Bluetooth transmitters. Less wires, more money. This will cost you about 50 bucks. One of these gets plugged into the headset, the other one gets plugged into the computer. And now you have a wire-free, lag-free audio transmission to get the game audio from here back over to there. In this case, because people don't want to spend any money, we're going to do it the easy way. And since, again, you've already got a cable, so you're already tethered, you're not really giving up a whole lot. So, I have a nice long audio cable. This may be also called an audio patch cable. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's a double male-ended cable. Make sure it's stereo. You see there's two little black rings. That means it's stereo, not mono. That's what you want. Otherwise, you're going to drop a channel. Now, on the Quest itself, you have a headphone jack on either side. There's one here, and there's one here. They're both stereo. A lot of people think the right one is only for the right ear. The left one's only for the left ear. It's not true. They're both stereo. So I'm going to plug this guy in here. Now, if you wanted to, you could wire this up along your cable or whatever, which might be a good idea. Put some tape around it or do whatever to make it more secure. I'm just going to put it through the same strap that's holding my link cable in. Right, so it kind of gives me a... There you go. So now I've got a, a pretty decent setup. Now the other, uh, the other end obviously needs to go into the computer so that OBS can hear it. So you've got two choices. You can use a microphone in port, which I've got on the front of my computer, so that's what I'm going to use. You probably want to use the line in, which will be on the back of the computer. It's usually, um, I think it's a green, uh, not a green color, it's a red color. Maybe that's the mic. Haven't been back there in a while. But uh, you can use a microphone in, or you can use the line in. Mic in is going to be, tend to be, um, it's going to be pre-amplified. So it'll be a little bit louder, but you'll be able to see it on OBS when we get there. Because I don't want to crawl around to the back of my computer, I'm just going to use the front slot to plug in my, plug this into the microphone in. Um, and as you can see, that just came alive. If you can see this, it says front panel mic in. So I've already um, I've already set this all up, and you'll see the other stuff here in just a minute. So now I'm getting a feed in from here. So the next part of the equation is once you plug in the headset, the speakers go away. So how do you, as the game player, hear what you're playing? Well, that's where the less exciting part comes from. So one thing you could do is plug a pair of headphones in, a little couple of earbuds, and you got audio. But you still have no microphone. So if you want to do commentary while you're streaming, you still have to have a microphone solution. Here's what I've come up with. So this is the Logitech, this is the Logitech G933 headset. They don't make these anymore. You can buy them refurbished, you can get them used. You're not going to find these just anywhere. And unfortunately, they're also not cheap. There's also, I believe it's steel, there's a steel, I'll put a link in there, there's a steel something or another set of headphones that will also do the trick. Uh, and I'll tell you why these are important. First, they're wireless, so no more wires. They're also attached to my computer via a dongle, 
right? So this is my dongle for my headset. So this is like a 2.4 gigahertz connection. So there's no lag, no Bluetooth. For, take Bluetooth completely out of the equation unless you're using these latency free things. So I've got a microphone right here that is now wireless back to the computer. I just solved my microphone problem. I can now speak and be heard on OBS and I've got the game audio going over to OBS. That sounds pretty good. So how do I get the audio from here into here if I said no Bluetooth? And I did say no Bluetooth. Very simple, what makes these special? These headsets are designed to be played on a PC or an Xbox or a Switch or anything else that has a standard audio out. So I'm gonna snake my, one of these audio cables from my Bluetooth transmitters because these are nice and short. You want a nice short one, you don't want a whole bunch of wires all over the place. Let me take one of these wires here. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as the other one. Double male, 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter, depending on which country you're in. Very simple, nice and short. I'm going to plug it into my headphones. And I'll bet you can figure out where the other end's going to go. Right into the other port of the Quest. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to start looking a little Robocop-ish here. All right, so then I'm going to plug this into the side. Funny, I can't feel my way through here. There we go. Thank, Thank you, Mr. You. Cameraman. There you go. Push it in. All right. So now I've got a set of headphones. I'm going to turn them on. I'm going to put them right over the top. And I'm going to... All right. So now I can hear what's going on. My voice is being picked up by the mic, transmitted over to the PC. The game audio is running from this cable into the computer. I now have a working solution. So what I have here is, and you can actually see the microphone is picking up what I'm saying right now. The microphone is coming in. The game audio is coming in. And that's an extra mic, don't worry about that one. And then I've got, um, hang on a second. Oh, that's just my audio. So over here, I have three items. I have my microphone from the Logitech. I've got my front panel mic in. And I'm using the Oculus mirror to capture my screen. Now you don't see anything on that screen because the Oculus isn't awake right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put myself underneath, turn off that. All right, do I have video? Mm -hmm. I do. All right, so I'm speaking now, and um, I'm going to start this video here. Okay, there we go. All right. So I've got audio coming through my headphones, and it's coming through here. And you can see, oh, I'm sorry, you, you can see my voice is coming through as well. So let's go ahead and prove this out. I'm going to go ahead and start recording. I'm going to look around a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit. You can hear the music is playing in the background, hopefully not getting me a copyright hit. I don't think so because it's Beat Saber. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and stop. Oops. All right. This doesn't really matter at this point. All right. So the question is, how did we do? I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. That's quite the rig up. When all is said and done, a little hot under there too. All right, so how did we do? Well, let's check out the video. Now you can hear that my voice is coming through and so is the game audio. Now, of course, here's the main problem. I didn't mix it very well, right? So you'd obviously want to bring the game audio down, bring your voice up. Every, every YouTuber already knows how to do that with OBS. So the point is, I'm capturing my screen, I'm capturing my voice, I'm getting the game audio out, and I can still hear it. It's the, it's the perfect utopia for streaming while you're playing Oculus Link. So I did tell you I'd show you a couple of other ways to get around this, right? So I mentioned already that instead of using this long cable, right, that's hooked into my computer, Let's get that out of the way. I'm going to have to snake this little plug though. I could use these, which are Bluetooth audio transmitter. One's a transmitter, TX. So this is the transmitter. That's going to go on the Quest. And a receiver. That's going to get plugged into the PC just where I plugged in that other cable, right into the mic end. I'm going to turn both of these on. Hopefully there's power going on. I bet this one's dead. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Let them negotiate. 
Uh, these are probably really low on power. I guess I should have charged these ahead of time. Well, we can do we can walk through the whole thing anyway. So essentially, instead of using that long cable, I'm gonna use a Bluetooth transmitter that's gonna transmit the game audio. So I've got actually I got a little strap here that I usually tuck it into when I'm doing this sort of thing. Tuck the cable away wherever, right? So now this is transmitting over here. I'm still using the front mic jack in, but I have one less cable. And which doesn't really matter because I've already got this big thick cable anyway, but that's another way to do it. And now when you're transmitting, you're transmitting with lag-free Bluetooth. Now listen, you can't just go out and buy whatever you want. You need the special APTX Bluetooth lag-free. Um, I'll put a link down for what I've got. I know it works. I've already done videos on it. You've seen them work for yourself. That's another way to do it. Now, <clears throat> the other piece of the equation is getting your set hands on a set of these type of headphones. They're not, as I said, they're not cheap. Hopefully you've already got a pair of these and you're good to go. But if you don't, getting your hands on ones are gonna suck. So what can you do? What's the other thing you could do if you can't get one of these and you're trying to do this on a really tight budget? Well, the other thing you could do is forget about the, forget about these guys, forget about the $50 transmitters, right? You could use your cheap cable like we already did earlier to route your audio to the PC, plug some earbuds into this side and then clip on a microphone, right? Clip on a microphone that's wired, run it along the cable along with the audio and run it down to your PC. Now you're gonna have two input cables now. So you're gonna have to use one for mic in and you're gonna have to use line in for the other one. That's as cheap as you're gonna make it happen. I mean, that's a couple of cables, some tie wraps to kind of keep everything neat. That's the cheap way to do it. The next way to do it would be to add the Bluetooth transmitters into the equation. And then lastly, get a Get a good set of headphones that can do both aux in and can wirely transmit your voice. So, as you can see, it all works. Um, and there are diagrams. I can produce diagrams for you, instructions, a, a shopping list of what you might need. That will all be down in the description. I hope this helps out. This is what a lot of people have been asking for. How can I do? How can I twitch my stream while playing Oculus Link and still have a commentary? This is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Click that little bell. Like this video so we can keep making more of them. I appreciate your watching. This is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World. Take it easy.